Hey everybody, welcome to my usual me. Welcome back to Rising World, where I've been playing around with this a little bit, and we I've been working with the terraforming. And I gotta say, this terraforming is exactly how the life is futile terraforming should have been. Not a freaking big pain in the butt. Not a and and you know, or like even uh, Seven Days to Die, where you you used to be able to put blocks back, you know, just from the dirt that you pulled up. Now you gotta make the blocks, and then you gotta put the blocks down. It's a whole pile of garbage. Now, if I have stone in my inventory, I'm going to be able to take stone and I'm going to be able to shape it. Let me show you. To, to put back where I, where I dug out. If I make a hole, let me fix my mistake, man. And it's going to get all bold, bulby and uh, bulbish and whatnot up in here. But that's what the sledgehammer's for, to slam it down, make it flat. The same thing with the dirt. I dug up a whole bunch of dirt. Let me show you here. I dug up a whole bunch of dirt over here. You can't see it now because I flattened it all out. And I, I just I still have dirt in my inventory. I still have 36 dirt in my inventory, and I flattened all this out so I can work with it here in a little bit. Now, this is a little bit higher, and I might have to dig it out a little bit, but what I'm going to do is, um, is I'm going to have to work with it a little bit more. Um, also, birch trees or any trees that I've cut down, if there's a top to it, I can actually replant it. Now, i got two birch trees here that I'm growing. This is amazing. I'm not going to pick those up because I think I'm going to ruin it. But I'm liking this idea. Now, like I said... Now, I'm going to harp on this for a few more episodes. I mean, the graphics need an overhaul, guys. The graphics need an overhaul. You make this, you put this into a different engine, and use and and create and you this this would be a like a this would be a top selling winner. I mean, this not a lot of people play this game because of the way it looks, but I'm so far liking what I'm getting, what I'm seeing. So a lot of you voted to make, for me to make a season of this. I think I'm going to agree, and I think we're going to go ahead and do it. But right now, guys, I need an anvil. I need an anvil hard and fast, and I need 24, spin that puppy, spin that puppy, spin that puppy. I need 24 iron ingots. So, this 8 is not going to do it. We're going to need to do some more. So, let's go ahead and let's go in our inventory real quick. Go to crafting. Go to our crafting stations and go to primitive furnace. I have 129 stone on me because I've been mining before I started this episode. There's one furnace. There's two furnaces. That's all I got. 64 a pop is what it is. And so, there you go. I got two furnaces ready to go. So let's put this one like okay let me use this right here we we'll use i need to be able to get in between them i think so we'll put one on the edge here like kind of on the edge like right there boop like this it's so slow to place but that's okay because they want to make sure you know what you're doing oh my gosh and then another one like back behind here maybe like sitting right like that might do that let's rotate this just a little bit there we go. That'll make it easier to get to. Then I'll have three furnaces working. That'll be 20. Wait, eight times four. 24. 24 ingots is what I need, right? I actually have some ingots on me, but I need to make sure that I have enough to do the other things I want to do. So I have nine ingots, but we're, we're going to, so where all the iron go? I have 53 iron. Oh, by the way, while I was down there, I actually found some copper ore. There's some. There's a copper vein that runs along with my iron vein, which is going to be good. And I got a little copper action happening over there, so that's cool. So let's go ahead and go like this. Let's go ahead and fill these suckers up. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, there's that. We're going to fill all these up. We're going to fire them all up at the same time. Because I have enough to do two rounds of iron. I think we're going to do that during this episode. It's so easy. It's so nice, too, because it's like, yeah, if I could carve stone, I'd carve myself some iron, uh, some ingot molds, and so I can then hammer them out into sheets or whatever, or do whatever. All right, so I need all the, okay, I cut, chopped down some trees, so I need all the lumber, all the lumber, craft all the lumber I can get my hands on. So let's go with resources, lumber, let's just do it all. I'll go chop down some more trees later. And uh, what is that? 60, 68. Okay, there's that. All right, so that means 34 for each one of these. Because I already got a whole bunch in here. That's not 192. Let's go ahead and fire this one up. Where is it? Fire that one up. We'll get that rolling. And we'll fill the rest of these here. Make sure. I flatten this out and, and put another lip on it, a little bit more of a lip on it, so I wouldn't fall in when I did this. Go like this. Stack of 32. I did a stack of 32 for that last one, so I'm going to do the same thing for this one.
All right. Light it up. I said light it up. Oh, F. That's right. I got to rebind that to E so I don't forget. Because, you know, I all my other games are in E. I don't know why games do different keys. I don't, they, I don't think they're thinking they're edgy or something, but maybe that's how they used to play games when they were kids when they made before they made games. I don't know. F might, might have been an old, an old key bind from way back. It's like using tab instead of I for inventory. Really weird. Although they use I for inventory here, so I don't know why they don't use E for interact. All right, so F, boop, fire it up. All right, good. Now we got all three of these guys working. Um, we should have ingots pretty soon. Pretty happy with that. Gives us a bunch of light, too. Speaking of light, I think I'm going to go ahead and make a lantern. Let's go ahead and see about lanterns here. Because I uh, I know we have the... Let's see the good lights. I know we have these these torch mounts, but... Oh, uh, wait. Oh, you know what? I need iron plate for that. What about this one? I need iron plate for this? Oh, I bet you I need the anvil for the iron plate. I wish there was a, uh, a box where I could look up some stuff. Because... Let's see. Miscellaneous. What's that? No... That's not it. Utilities. Nada. Right, I don't think so. I think it's going to have to be in the in the anvil is what I'm thinking. Oh, wait. Oh, shoot. I'm thirsty. Hang on. It's watermelon time. Seventy-nine and ninety. I'll, I'll take that. You know what? Let's go ahead. Why don't we eat a tomato just to be just to be on the safe side? What do you say? Eighty-nine and a hundred. Wow, that's more water than it is food. How about a potato? Raw potatoes good. Lots of starch, lots of carbohydrates. It's good for you. And raw is probably better than 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 cooking it. Although it's going to be harder to digest, but that's okay. All right, so hopefully we can go ahead and get this stuff together because I really need that anvil. I have 29 more. All right, what is this? That's a stick. Okay, so what else can we do here? Oh, yeah, I need iron plate for the big stuff. Like, oh, you know what I do need, though? I need... Where is it? I need a crowbar. Because it can remove construction elements without destroying them. So I'm going to go ahead, and I think I'm going to go ahead and see if I can pick up um, these forges once I make a big forge. But I think we might want to think about making a house, like, as soon as possible. So that I can, I can at least a foundation, so I can start putting stations down. Because I don't know how to pick this up. I don't know if I can. I think if I use a crowbar, I might be able to pick it up. So that's what I'm, th I'm thinking. And you know what? I can make a scythe. Let's go ahead and um, craft a scythe, I think. And let's go ahead and let's start cutting some grass while we're waiting on this. I think I want to cut some grass. Oh, so let's see. Go like this, boop, like that. And here is the scythe right there. Bam. All right. Whoa. Oh. Well, this is not what I wanted. I mean, it's fine because it's green. Am I getting grass? Like in my inventory? I guess it's fine if you want it green instead of brown, but the rake uh, just takes it all up. I guess that's fine. Not quite what I wanted, but it's okay, I guess. If I'd have known it was going to be like this, I would have been... I just said cut the grass. It didn't say remove the grass, so I should have known, which is fine. Not a big deal. I really would like to maybe harvest... You, you, am I getting grass? I should... No, I'm not getting grass. All right, so you're just cutting the grass... It's laying down. There's nothing to pick up. I was thinking maybe I was going to be able to use it for thatching for a roof, but maybe not. We haven't gotten into that. I don't know how to do that yet, but we're just going to clear out a little area here so I can pound it, pound the ground down and uh, smooth it out for, so, for a house. Although I may not need it. I don't know how the foundations work in this game. So how are these guys doing? Are we, how are we looking over here? Are we in it yet? Not yet. Almost. Almost. So yeah, cutting grass, man. How exciting is that for a video? Woo! Yeah, man. All right, so I'm, I'm liking this, though. All right, so... Probably not going to go any further than that. Let's clear this all out. 
because how that ground goes down like that, I'm probably not going to mess with it. I'm probably going to just build right here. This is the flattest spot, I think, until it, until it goes down. So like right around this tree or something. That's a cherry tree. I probably want to keep that cherry tree. I don't want to chop that cherry tree down. Especially if they give you um, fruit on a regular basis. If I'm getting food on a regular basis, I'm probably going to want to just kind of keep it. All right. So we're almost done. I'm almost there, guys. I think this is probably wherever this dips. See, it's starting to dip here. That's the edge of where I'm going to put my house. Because I'm not going to mess with That way I don't have to mess with terraforming too much. I can dig at it from a different spot. Yeah, this is where it's, this is where the this is where the the train ends. I think. Hey, hey, come on! There we go. Although it looks like it goes out further a little bit here, which isn't bad. Okay, I'm okay with that. I think this is about as far as I want to go, though. I think that's good. Now I can use the rake, right, and then smooth this down like this. Boop. Hello, worm. But it turned it brown. But it turned it brown. Like a little bit there. Now I need to fill this in, maybe. Or will it pop it up? It popped it up. It popped it up. Will it pop it up here? No, it didn't. It's made it, it made it go down. So that popped that up a little bit. I'm going to have to get some dirt. I have some dirt. We're going to fill this in a little bit, I think. Smooth it all out. How are we doing, ingots? We're ingots now. Are we ingots all the way across the board? Two, three. Yes, we are. All right. Close it. Turn that off. Turn that off. Turn that off. Get these out. I don't want to waste any material while I'm grabbing all this. Bing. 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 Oh, no, no, no. No, no. Be careful. Get all of them. So this is going to be enough for an anvil, which I'm super excited for. And then we get to see what's in the anvil. And I'm going to go ahead and start another batch of metal right now while I can. If we run out, well, then we run out of wood. It's going to get dark in a second. So this is, I need this light. All right. And what do we have? 102? Oh, yeah, I got plenty of wood, man. Like, it, you got plenty of... 82, 78. Oh, yeah, I think I have enough. Wait. Yeah, I do. Barely, but I think I have enough. Actually, you know what? Let's. I have 12 more here. Let's go ahead and put four more in each of these. Actually, we'll put four more in this one. There we go. good blacksmith make sure he never run out of fuel because otherwise that metal gets cold and you gotta start all over again all right anvil time let's go ahead and go with crafting stations anvil craft it what oh here we go so i don't know if i just want to lay it down somewhere or what what i want to do like do i want to put it like right here probably huh not really but we're gonna all right, anvil has been successfully placed. Now we have iron plate, baby. That's one iron ingot for an iron plate. Copper plate, because I have copper. Silver, gold, aluminum. Okay, all the plates, iron rod, copper rod, silver rod, all the rods. Okay, very cool. Resources, that's all I can do. So I can make plates and rods with this. Super happy with that. That's what I needed. So now, plate-wise, what was I needing for, this, for the plate? What was I wanting before that? Let's see, I was needing... Um, Oh, the big smelting furnace. Bam, this baby right here. 256 stone, 16 iron plate, 4 lumber. So I need a lot of stone. I need a lot of stone. Okay, well, nothing to do it but to do it. But I think we want, let's do this block bench and see what this is about real quick. Let me go grab a whole bunch of lumber. It's dark though. And how am I doing on, on food and water? I'm okay. Let's take a nap. Let's go to bed and let's see what happens in the morning. Okay, so I need some lumber. Let's go get let's go get our let's go get our lumber on. 
Actually, how much do I have? Oh, wait. Oh, no. It's overnight. Wait, I have ingots. Stop! I don't want to waste any more uh, any more fuel than I need to. Oh, it's still not done. Okay, so it's... <laughs> you sleep and make it daytime, but it's still real time with the uh, with the ingots. So the ingots don't care. They're like, eh, it wasn't night. It wasn't a full night. You never fooling us. So it's five hits for to knock down a tree now instead of like eight, guys. So it's almost half. Not quite half, but almost. So it's way quicker with this with this guy. Like if I can make steel tools, it's gonna be even faster, I think. But I'm having to go further and further out for wood, so. And I need 24, and each one of these is four, I think, right? So. Is that right? So let's see how much lumber can I make real quick. I can make 40. Do it. All right. That's good enough. That's all I need for that block, that block station. We're going to make lots and lots of trips. Whoa. So that's cool. All right. So the block station, which I think I'm going to... Actually, I want to... I think I thought I wanted to put go out here with my, my building. Oh, I wanted to go back here with my building, right? So I can put my stations right here. I'm assuming I'm going to be able to get rid of my stations eventually. I mean, move them eventually with the crowbar. Matter of fact, you know what? Hang on. Let's make a crowbar right now and see. Can I make a crowbar? Can I move this station? Craft this item. All right. Let's see if I can move the station. Um, so crowbar is right here. Bam. No. I'm assuming that that I okay, I don't know. It's building elements, so it's not the station. I don't know how to, I don't know how to move the station. So, I don't know if I can. Like it might be stuck. Okay, I'm going to assume that I cannot move my stations. If that's the case, then I got to be really careful where I place them and what I, what I actually put down. So, what can we do for some building stuff? I mean, I I don't know about building here. So, I'm assuming a crafting station for what? Block bench? That's for crafting blocks, and then the saw bench for crafting furniture. So I guess it's a block bench is what I need. Oh, I need 48 lumber. Okay, hang on. Okay, right, we're ingots now. Boom. Turn these off. Let me grab all of them. All right, mass producing iron. Uh, let's see what we got. I need trees. Let's go this way. Actually, I could probably go up the hill. Nah, we'll go right here. Going to come a time where I'm going to need, like, to go out for, like, an hour to go get wood. Like, a long way away. Cut down a whole bunch and then come back. I mean, I can. Ooh, tomatoes. I can get. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's another watering hole. Hmm. I mean, I can grow trees. There's two more birch saplings. But I got to be, you know, I mean, it's going to take a minute for those things to grow, right? Like, I don't know how many days it takes to grow. It's going to take a minute. So, so we'll put another birch sapling right here. Let's put these guys. Where are the birch? I have three. So we'll put this one right here. That one right there. This one right here. And those will grow up. I'll be able to chop those down. All right. So, you know, cut a tree, plant a tree. Cut a tree, plant a tree. 
I'm probably gonna have to dig this out and smooth this out. I just don't want to make my block station and get it and have it get in the way. Mm, you know what? Let's go ahead and just do it. Let's just make the block station. Lumber twice. And then block station, craft it. All right, the block station. Here we go. It's getting foggy. Wow, the weather's starting to turn, man. That's kind of cool. Are there seasons in this game? I wonder if there's seasons in this game. I'm going to put this block bench right here, I think. Like on the far edge where I don't really care about it. Uh, like where do I want to put this thing? It'll fit right here. Maybe I'll just put it right here. Guess that'll do. All right. Block bench. What do we got? Stone block. Oh, wow. We have a lot of different blocks. Stone brick. Oh, wow. Sandstone. Cobblestone. Loam. <laughs> Loam. It's dirt. Marble. Okay. Uh, wood blocks wood planks oh i see so it's kind of like minecraft i think right asphalt concrete so it's just a block but textured copper ingot marbles you require stone is all huh you know what i like that marble all it's requiring is stone but i need just a lot of stone for a lot of stuff huh let's go with wood for now Ornamental tiles. Oh, wow. That's cool. I don't want to get really fancy with my first house. We're just going to go with natural. Dirt. Blades of grass. How am I getting blades of grass? Stone. Gravel. A hoe. What? Oh. A natural block with hoe. Uh, a hoe. Um, I think just dirt. I've got 36 already in my inventory so let's go ahead and make 36 of these dirt blocks craft them so all right so we've got those right and the, oh these are tiny man okay so those are tiny tiny blocks what happens when i do this okay oh i see it's just dirt dude it's just dirt man Smooth this stuff out. I see. Like, and do it. Then I take the sledgehammer to smooth it down. Smooth it down, or what? I'm just kind of just playing right now. I'm kind of because I'm curious. Now I take the sledgehammer here, and then oh no, it would be the rake, wouldn't it? Oh, you can't do anything with that. How about the sledgehammer? You can bust them. Oh, wait, and pick them up? <gasps> what? I have 213 blocks. What? 213. Oh, and when I'm getting cold, I'm getting chilly. And we're hungry, so let's go ahead and eat, man. Let's eat. All right, guys. So for those of you guys who know about the blocks, tell me in the comments section what's going on if you can. Uh, I can look it up if I wanted to, I guess. There's, there we go. But I think we're going to go ahead, and I'm just going to I'm gonna maybe play with this off camera and see what's up. Because I don't think I don't want dirt blocks as my floor. I mean, it would be fine, but for a little hut, make a little hut or whatever. But I, I kind of thinking that I, you know, I don't want to be out in the open. But I might just make a workshop, you know, where I could put my where I could put my my stations. And I want to know how to destroy a station. If I can't move it, I want to know how to destroy it. Because if I can't if I can't move it, I want to get rid of it. I'm assuming that the pick or the hatchet's going to do it. But I don't want to do it. Maybe you guys can tell me in the comments. What's going on? Because I don't know. But I'm, and I, I'd love for you guys, and see, there's so many of you really like this game. I'd love for you guys to, like, you know, maybe we'll play it together or something. Yeah. So, okay, let's see what else I got. What else can I make today before we get out of here? I want to do some, let's see, what's the saw bench? That's 32 lumber for making craft furniture. Why don't we go ahead and do that? I think, because I think that that's going to be the next step. So let me go get enough stuff for 32 lumber. How much do I have? Do, can I make any more lumber? I don't think I have any logs. 
And what I think I'm going to do, guys, as far as my food goes to free up some space, is I think right here, I'm just going to dump my food. Because it, I, I, it's persistent, so I think I'm just going to throw it, throw it down here. And this is just going to be my, my pantry right here. It's going to be my pantry. As I need food, I'm just going to pick it up and eat it. But I don't need it in my inventory right now, right? I mean, there's no reason. I wait. Oh, maybe I need a watermelon. I got to cut another watermelon up. I think I ate the last of my watermelon. So we'll just do this. Throw this down like this. What is that? Cotton? Keep the cotton. Keep all the materials. But the food can just like sit right here, I think. I'm freezing to death. I need clothes or something. Oh my gosh. All right, well. Can I warm up by the fire? Don't think so. But I'm up. You know what? How much iron do I have? Do I have enough I can make another batch? I don't. But it might make sense for me to fire up one of these anyway. Do like this. Boom, 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 boom. That's five. And then I have seven copper. Let's go ahead and do that. And then this one. This is like maybe a little bit of a waste. But let's fire it up. Yeah, I'm not freezing anymore. But I don't know, man. I don't know about this. Um, I, I need to figure out how to get warm. I know I need clothes, right? But I don't have any decent clothes. So the loom is what I'm going to need for that. What does it take for the loom? Um, 16 lumber and 4 iron rod to weave cloth. So I maybe I'll make the loom first. Maybe I'll make the loom first. I'm going to run out there. I don't think that's going to kill me. But I need I need to get some more some more trees for some more lumber. I, what the heck is that? Oh, flowers. And cotton. I know I'm going to need cotton for clothes. And bandages. Right? All right. Hey, come here. You. Come here. I think it's getting warmer now. I'm wasting a little wood for uh, doing what I did there, but I was shivering and I don't feel like dying. And I don't know if I was uh, it was going to kill me or not. I don't know if it was cold enough to kill me. I don't think so, but I don't like shivering. Oh, yeah, we got birches. Yay! Birch sapling. All right, now I'm getting chilly again. I was nice and toasty warm over by those forges, man. Three, four. We're going to be able to have another orchard here of trees we can harvest later. Totally need to do that. Hello, tomato. Uh. There we go. Where'd it go? Now it's raining? Ah, where'd that stump go? I'm going to chop down that stump. One more. One more tree. Oh, yeah, I'm shivering like a big dog, man. Well, I should probably chop down the stump before I do anything else. So I don't lose it. Oh, there's the other stump. I see it right in front of me. All right, get that one. Cutting it, cutting wood in the rain, man. I've done that before. That's not fun. All right, there's the camp. We got to get back. I don't know that it hurts me. But it, at least not this rain. But if it's snowing, it would. All right, so how are we looking over here? Get warmed up by the fire here, right quick. While I make some lumber. Uh, what do I need? 36, 48, something like that. I got so I don't know how many we need. We need. Uh, I'll make. I'll make 60. How about that? That should be enough. 64 is good. Why not? That was 12 logs. All right, and then I need to make four iron rods. Is that what it said? I think. Boom. Wait, what? I need. Oh, I need four iron plate. I need iron plate. Okay, so I need. We'll make four of those. And then I need iron rods to make that. All right, so that's cool. Oh, I get four per iron plate? Didn't know that. That's cool. So I've got 16 iron rods. I didn't need them. That's all right, though. All right, loom. Got everything I need. Make it. All right, the loom's done. Um, we're going to have to redo these stations because I'm going to have to get them underneath where it's warm, where the forges are, and everything's working right. Yeah, okay, we got a couple of minutes here. Copper should melt faster than iron. I don't know whether the copper is going to melt faster or not. 
Then again, I don't know how much these guys know about about blacksmithing. I imagine they know a little, right? I would think so. Um, I guess I'm going to go like this. I hate to do this, but I think we're going to have to do it this way. I know there's a way to move them. There has to be. Hemp fibers, hemp cleat, and then on oh, a thread reel. What? A thread reel? Uh, closed top. Here we go. Shirts. Yes. Insulation. Protection. Insulation. Insulation. I need leather. Okay, here we go. Poncho. Sweet. Undershirt. T-shirt. Polo shirt. I don't care about looking good. I want something that's going to... Bomber jacket. Winter jacket. Oh! 300 insulation, man. Oh, look at that. Military jacket. Eight iron plates, 16 leather, and 32 cloth. Oh, man, I like that a lot. That military jacket's a bomb. High visibility jacket. Here I am! All right, so that's cool, but we're definitely going to need some cloth. So we need... What do we, do, what do we need to make that? What, what are we doing here? Spinning wheel? Oh, I can make it. Make it! Yeah! Spinning wheel, baby! All right, put that thing right here. All right. Wait, what? Hang on, what am I missing here? Something. Tanning rack, grinding rack, paper press. I think there was something. Hang on. There was something in the journal about this. Overview. Okay, that's the grinder. Paper press. Tanning. Right there we go. Paper. Uh, okay, so spin raw fibers on the reel by holding the secondary action button. Just off until the reel progresses reach to 100%. Gotcha. Okay, I know what to do. All right, my fibers need to go here. I need to be holding my fibers. Which I thought I was. There it is. 100%. That's good. That's one. And then pick it up. Do it again. Pick it up. All right, so that's two. 28. I don't know how many it takes. Okay, how much does it take? So that was... Oh, it's two apiece. All right, that's cool. All right, so we can pick this up. Bink. Right there. I gotta go get warmed up by the fire. Oh, this one's out of wood. No, you... What happens? That's what happens. All right. That's not gonna be done. These might be done soon, but... I, I'm, I screwed the pooch on that one, so to speak. Um, all right. So, I probably should have put this stuff near, closer to the where it's warmer. Actually, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead. I think we're going to end it here. I am I think we did pretty good. We did get some stations working. Um, I know how to make cloth now, um, and we know how, we, how to make clothes. So we're definitely going to do that in the next episode. Does it get flooded down in there? I don't know. And we made some iron uh, made some iron ingots. We made some things, made an anvil. Super happy with the progress we did today. I do want to plant these trees, though, before we, go, before we get out of here. Like I said, guys, let me know in the comment section what's what. Okay, if you know something, I'm more than happy for you guys to spoil it for me. If you don't feel like you want to spoil it for me, maybe give me a hint. I'm all right with it. I'm not looking it up. If I if you know if I can help it, I'd rather you guys talk me with or talk me not through it, but you know, I mean, you know, say hey, try this. This might be cool, or something like that. You know, because that way you guys are you guys get um get in on the on the interaction or whatnot. Is that the last one? All right, cool. I'm getting a little grove of trees happening here, so I'm pretty happy about that. 
All right, guys. Well, anyway, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do that right now. As I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you, and we'll see you in the next video where I'm just going to try to stay warm in this summer shower. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.